Well, good morning, everyone, from the campsites at Fort Wilderness inside Disney's campground here in Magic Kingdom today. Going to be uh, skipping Disney transportation. Going to be taking old Tater Tot, the smart car, uh, into Disney Springs because there's free parking there. And it's kind of a late day. We're going to do a 9 a.m. to at least 10 p.m. day here. Plus, I have to pick up an Amazon package at a, at a locker on my way back. And I'm seeing a movie at the AMC in Dolby tonight. So it's, it's a big day. Going to load up my backpack, get everything I need. And then we're going to go check out Disney Springs and eat at a new restaurant today and see some new stuff. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'll be uploading this video with Nomad Internet. There's a link below in the video description if you need some mobile unlimited internet. Thanks for joining me, guys. It's also gonna be a little warm for me, not for Orlando, but it's gonna be 77 degrees here on a January day in winter. 77 is the high today. And then we got thunderstorms tonight. I'm not going to a park, so I don't have to worry about that, but that's why I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt and I packed up some sunscreen. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll get through it somehow. I'll manage. <laughs> By the way, do not follow what Google says. Disney has changed this place so much that Google doesn't even know they were gonna take me to Epcot. There's the uh, Epcot entrance over there. Uh, so just follow the resort signs, these big purple signs that tell you where to go. They are the most helpful. Google Maps, not so much. Look at that Olaf Frozen bus next to me. That's awesome. We're not going that way though. All right, gonna try the orange parking garage first because this is the one, the last one I was at that I know is open. I parked uh, my motorcycle here about a year ago, unfortunately. No RVs allowed. Eight foot six. Yikes. I think I think Tater Tot will make it in here though. <laughs> oh yeah. See all those green lights? Those are all the openings. 809 parking spots on level five. <laughs> well, let's go to the top. Let's go all the way up to the top. Why not? Never been up here. Oh yeah. That's awesome. Um, are we really the only ones up here? <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, it was tough to find a spot, but I'm, I'm glad we managed here. <laughs> I, I've seen these places completely full. In fact, how many times have you driven by on Buena Vista Drive there and it says every parking garage of every level is full? Yeah, this is strange. However, Disney Springs just opened like eight, eight minutes ago, so that's probably why we're first. All right, push the magic button. We're heading down. Is that us? That's us. Seeing all the different parking garages, is this it? There we are, we're level. They gotta herd us through some temperature screenings first, make sure nobody's got a fever. All right, we made it through, but my battery charger flagged me for secondary, so they had to open up my backpack. <laughs> we're here though, and yes, Christmas decorations. They're gonna keep them up till February, I think. They're still doing the uh, virtual queue in order to go in and shop at the Disney store, so I'm gonna head over there and find out. It's probably all on my app, but I still wanna be close just to find out what the wait times are. I love being here so early. By the way, all of the uh, Christmas decorations, I was told that they, they are leaving these up till January 20th. So that's, that's pretty late. That's almost a month after Christmas, right? Not sure what the delay is on my video, but yeah. We're gonna see Christmas decorations all over the place. See, I personally, I don't mind seeing all the Christmas decorations this, this late in the year. I just know people are gonna point it out. So now you know we don't have to point it out anymore. Yes, there are Christmas decorations. Let's move on. I like it. I think most people are making this their first stop. There's World of Disney, but this is now an exit only. So they gotta keep going. Hey, what do you think of the new 2021 Disney World design? I love the colors with the red, the blue, and the yellow. Okay, I'm getting on board, see? See, that's the, the 2021 collection and theme. Oh, look at that Mickey. That's really neat. I can dig it, I can dig it. Okay, I stand corrected. This is also not an entrance. They are just going to line us up. World of Disney down here past Starbucks. Okay, wait a minute. There is no line to get in at 10 a.m. You get to walk right in. Wow. Hey, think of it this way. At least I get to see Christmas and I'm not stuck seeing all their Valentine's decorations. Ugh. 
<laughs> well, where should we start? Where's the magnets? You know, as simple as they look, they've never offered anything like this. Just the half Mickey head magnet. Doesn't say 2021 on it though, but I like it. Okay, I already have that Mickey magnet. What else we got up here? There's a world of Pixar magnet that's rubber and kind of cool. I definitely am digging that. Look down here, they got dog and cat ones. I love my Disney cat. That I have to have. I'm also impressed with the new coffee cups this year, although I don't think I need a new coffee cup. I have way too many. Look at that blue one with the castle and the D. And this one with, with Walt and Mickey in a metal three-dimensional tab with Walt's quote there. Those are neat. Oh man. All right, well, I got a few things. Got my magnets, so I feel good about that, but I may still find something in the parks. They don't do the ID tags here for pets, so I think you've got to either got to wait till we get to Animal Kingdom or get another one at the Star Wars ride in Hollywood Studios later, but Jax is just getting a little rubbed on the side, so I'll keep checking things out here until lunchtime. Lunch is 2 p.m. I am happy to see they still have the dragon made out of Legos out on the lake, <laughs> but they also got some new stuff. I got Chewy, completely made of Legos. <laughs> I actually like the Star Wars theme out here. Ooh, the red stormtroopers, awesome. Man, that's cool. Yep, that's a lot of Legos, y'all. Pretty cool. So here in the Lego store, obviously they made some changes because they don't want you to touch anything. So you can no longer go back there at all and look at the Legos. They do have some new stuff though. I'm happy to see that. Lots of lots of sports cars. That big piece of machinery, two hundred and forty-nine dollar. Pretty intricate looking motorcycle there, though. They still got a few things closed, like the the carousel, because I don't know, maybe it's just too much work to keep those clean. But yeah, and they do have a popcorn bucket here because remember, once you buy the popcorn bucket, it's good for your entire stay at all the parks. Refills are what two dollars, I think. But I remember what happened last year is I got the popcorn bucket here and then the very first park I went to, they had a much cooler themed popcorn bucket for the park. So I'm gonna try to hold off and get mine in Magic Kingdom in two days. Let's check out the Christmas store. Maybe we can get some clearance Christmas stuff. Yeah, I still want one of these eventually to go around my Christmas tree at the house. I think it'd be cool. They just got the red one for now. I've seen different ones online though. I didn't find anything I had to have in the Christmas store. Here's another 2021 magnet for Walt Disney World. Okay, so we've seen some of those options. Also looking at the pet accessories. <laughs> I mean, that one's kind of cool. Jax doesn't really need a sweater as long as we stay in warmer climates though. So in this store, you used to have a bunch of kiosk machines where you could make your own t-shirt. Because of COVID, they canceled that. However, look what I just found. A uh, pet ID tag engraver, and that's the one I want right there for Jax. So we're gonna do that for Jax. There we go. See the Mickey head? That's the one we're getting. Heck yeah. Quit trying to read my phone number, guys. <laughs> All right. There, there it is. Yay. I love it. Don't forget the spring thing. Where's that? Where is it? Where is it? Hey, I didn't get one. Wait, yeah, I did, it's right there. Okay. I'm not gonna say that I definitely won't go to Rainforest Cafe and Lava Lounge, but right now it's closed and I already have lunch reservations. We might skip it today, but I might come back to Disney Springs. Hey, that gator's yelling at me. You got something to say? Oh, is that right? Is that how you feel? Anything else? Anything else you wanna say? That's it? All right, I don't like your attitude, mister. Don't you get all huffy on me. Say something crazy. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, okay, you win. You win. You win. Checking out uh, Goopy's Candy Company here. They do some fun stuff with all the candy. With like little Legos. Look at the two Mickey. That's awesome. Mickey Signature Coffee? Huh, interesting. Alright, I'm looking at the treats here. Looking at the Oreo Mickey Cupcake. Because we tried that one at, at uh, Fort Wilderness. I wasn't crazy impressed, but hmm, what do we want to get here? That cookie looks good too. And I like that pineapple cookie too. You guys see this, even the chairs have little hidden Mickeys in the metal of the chair. Isn't that awesome? 
every little detail at Disney, man. I'm gonna take a break and eat my cookie. So I decided to go with the uh, chocolate chip and chocolate Mickey ear cookie. Oh yeah. I guess I'll just start with the chocolate part. Mmm. Oh man. That's a good tasty snack. Mmm. 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 That ought to hold me off a little bit. Well, hey there, snakey snakey. Let's peek around the uh, rainforest cafe here. Uh huh. That's a singing tree over there. Oh, it's a talking tree. It's Tracy. It's a Tracy tree. Okay. Oh my gosh, they got sloths. <laughs> That's awesome. And in case you're wondering, I do plan on eating at a rainforest cafe restaurant. I do. Not this one, the one that's in a park, because they are really interestingly themed. Isn't that cool? There's just characters everywhere all over the seating here. They're just getting started for lunch in here right now, so I can walk around. You can dine with an elephant. Uh-oh. Oh, geez. We're having a storm in here, guys. Scary. <laughs> Isn't that cool? The windows over there with the falling water. So cool. By the way, they did uh, open the uh, lava lounge after all. I know it looks really cloudy, but it's perfectly warm. That's why I'm in a sleeveless shirt. And it's still pretty empty here in noon. Anyway, we'll keep walking around for a little bit until it's time for my lunch reservations. And uh, then before it gets dark, I'll be going in to see my movie. Sorry, can't take you in there. Gosh, it looks like it's gonna start just raining and pouring with the wind behind me. It's really windy all of a sudden. Anyway, just left uh, Disney style. I did get my 2021 Mickey Disney shirt. I'm gonna wait to show you till we get to the park when I wear it. So I'll let you know when I put it on and wear it at a park. I was gonna wait, but I went ahead and got my popcorn bucket anyway, cause I want popcorn right now. And it is actually a really cool design. It's mostly Toy Story, Incredibles. There's a uh, Ratatouille on there eating popcorn. So it's $12 to buy the bucket and I kind of collect these. And then it's $2 refills in any park. So all four parks, I'll bring this with me in my backpack or you can clamp it onto the side of your backpack. And it's a really cheap snack. Put the lid on, throw it in the backpack, munch on it while you're waiting in a long line or something like that. I really wanted to ride the, the balloon. There's too much wind for it to be used. You almost never see this happen in anybody's Disney Spring video, but it's always a little too windy for some reason. But in everybody else's video, they're always going up and down and going on it. So it could change because they're constantly evaluating the wind here. So we'll see what happens later today, maybe even after lunch we'll see so i actually haven't seen this area done last time i was here there was a big old wall here now they've got the uh the nba experience is complete they got some screens up here which would really light this place up at night i'll bet it looks pretty cool and then they got a little bar where you can sit down and uh drink so that's that's cool there um i got about a half hour till my lunch reservation so i want to hit one more spot Got to hit up the Coke store. Yeah. You know, I wonder if Epcot is ever going to bring back the Coca-Cola tasting thing. Remember that? Yeah, they tore all that down. We'll, we'll go visit Epcot here in a few days. And you'll see how the construction's going. And I love the relationship that Coca-Cola and Disney has. It's, it's such a great fit. Let's go check out the store. Yep, all the Coca-Cola stuff. Oh, there's some Fantas. And I really like how they're really embracing the Coca-Cola Zero. This, this is a coffee cup, but how would you clean this? By, like, you wouldn't be able to get in there and clean the coffee, so, eh, and pass on that one. All right, we are taking the elevator up to the top deck to see what's going on up here. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, not a lot of people up here, but... <laughs> what? They're just small little samplers. Okay, 16 flavors from around the world. Tray one, tray two. Number one, Stony Tangawizzi from Tanzia. It's like a Sprite almost. Number two is Banoka Fruits Apple Pear from Germany. 
Nope, I don't like that at all. Number three is Mazo Blackberry from Malawi. Ooh, that's not bad. Number four is Veggie Beta from Japan. Better not be vegetables. Oh, that is really good. Okay, number five, Del Vale, Jamaica, and Nada from Mexico. Okay, let me take a break. A lot of sugar. Number six, Fanta Colita from Costa Rica. Yep, I like that one. Sorry, it had a weird aftertaste. Maybe I don't. Get out of here, fly. Get out of here. Aw. Number seven is Crisp Strawberry from Panama. Really good. And number eight is Thumbs Up from India. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. I guess I thought it was gonna taste more like Coke, but it doesn't. Tray two, number one, the famous Beverly from Italy. Still a strong no. <laughs> Worst of them all. Thumbs down. Number two, Sparletta Sparberry from Zimbabwe. That's up there, that's a good one. Number three, Sprite Cucumber from Russia. Number four, Aquarius Libre from Spain. Eh, yeah. Number five is Delaware Punch from Honduras. Ooh, yeah. That's a good one. Let's see, number six is Bajar Lingenberry from Sweden. Very bland, weird. Wait, it's got a weird wine aftertaste. Okay, number seven, Inca Cola from Peru. Yeah, that's not bad. And lastly, Smart Sour Plum from China. Nope. Let me sip on a few more of these, and then I'll tell you what my favorite is. Okay, it's a it's a tie between the kissed strawberry from Panama and the Sparletta strawberry from Zimbabwe. Those are my favorites. All right, Planet Hollywood. I don't really want to sit outside. I want to see the inside. Let's see here. We've got Spider Man. There's the original Superman costume. All right, here we are inside Planet Hollywood in Disney Springs. It's not too busy for lunch here. It's really neatly themed. We got a table for one here that's a uh, high bar top, but I'll show you the place here in a little bit. I want to get some orders in. They got drink specials. They got burgers. Oh, geez, this is going to be tough. All right, my, my food order's in. I got the uh, famous celebrity margarita. Mm. Let's look around while food's being done. This is the uh, main room with these monster TVs up here. I mean, that's like IMAX. Don't don't get dizzy, we're gonna stroll around here. How cool is that? So neat, uh-huh. I don't know what this is supposed to be and there's where I'm sitting over there. Oh my gosh, get a load of this burger, guys. The famous mac and cheese burger with bacon. Three different kinds of deep fried, I think there's onion rings in there too, but um, oh my gosh, what do you think? I don't know, mac and cheese and a burger? I, I, I don't, I'm gonna cut into it first just to see what it looks like on the inside. It's very curious. All right. <laughs> that cheesy mac and cheese is everywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I guess people are staring. This is Aja's home. That was delicious. Go check out the store if there's anything in there real quick. All right, I did get a magnet. I'll show you when we get back to the RV tonight because that, that mac and cheese burger, I never want to forget that. That was delicious.
we've got Dorothy's dress from Wizard of Oz, the original. Yes, it's obsessed. Oh, they got the Enterprise from Star Trek The Next Generation, and they got, mmm, I can't make his noise from Star Wars, Chewie, of course. You know what Disney doesn't have that um, Six Flags does is those mask-free zones, you know, where they, they magically tape it off and say you don't have to wear a mask, it's a, you can take a break, get it? I'm not seeing any here in Disney Springs. They might have them at the parks, but yeah. I'm gonna wrap up my physical day here filming during the daytime because I got a movie to see at AMC theaters in about an hour. So I'm gonna go back to the car and, uh, oh, and I gotta pick up that package later tonight too. It has not arrived in the locker yet. So, and yeah, so my, my popcorn bucket's in the car. So anyway, I'll get back to you later tonight from Fort Wilderness Campground. Check back in in a bit. I wasn't gonna make any video while I was seeing the theater. This is the most epic AMC movie theater I have ever seen. I love it here. Auditorium One is where they do the Dolby. Again, it's not a whole lot of people here, but according to the seating chart, I am not the only one seeing Wonder Woman 1984 in Dolby. There are two other people. I'm gonna go check it out, get some refillable popcorn first. There we go, Wonder Woman 84 in Dolby. Oh, I love it. Such a cool theater in here. Oh, yeah. Man, it's the only way to watch movies anymore. I love my Dolby experiences. These seats are so nice. Look at that recline edge, guys. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's great. Really looking forward to this. I'll catch you guys after the movie. Dang, I just walked out of Wonder Woman. <laughs> Let me drive back to Fort Wilderness and then we'll talk. I, I tried, man. I, I, three hours and ten minutes. I made it three hours and ten minutes into that movie. And I've never walked out of a movie before, before tonight. I'll tell you a little bit when we get back to camp. I don't think you're snuggly enough. I caught you being all snuggly in the corner with the nice covers. I missed you today, Jax, man. I sure missed my little kitty, kitty boy. I'm such a good boy. Did you miss me? Yeah, you wanna get some treats? Some treats, treats. You like treats? Well, let's get some then. Let's go get treats. Okay. Yeah, you said two would be enough, right? Yeah, two's good? Oh, you didn't like that? Oh. Okay, I'll, oh, okay, I'll, I'll find some more. Sorry about that. He's such a cute little kitty. I let, let's go outside. It's nice outside. I'll I'll share with you my thoughts. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So not to take anything away from movies, I still love going to movies. However, this one for me personally missed the mark. Yeah, uh, it missed the mark horribly. I'm not a movie critic, but I mean, still, I feel like it's worth pointing out. I didn't make it through this one. It's like there was no storyline. It's just it, I think. I think they just really overdid it. They oversaturated the fake action for three hours and 10 minutes. See, the movie is advertised online as being two hours and 45 minutes, which is a long movie. But like I said, I, I made it three hours and 10 minutes before walking out of the theater. It just never ends with all the fighting. It's not like fighting, like Kung, like Kung Fu fighting or Bruce Lee fighting. It's like, CGI Spider-Man type fighting, you know, and like the whole movie is just her with her uh, fiery whip flying around and then she flies through the sky for a half an hour. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I, if, if there was an actual plot to the movie, I didn't catch it. It is a very, very strange movie and I disliked it. I'm just saying, I'm probably gonna make a lot of Marvel people mad with that comment and with that rating, but I mean, I guess it takes a certain kind of fan to really get into that and to sit there for over three hours with that kind of a movie and it's not my style you know i've definitely seen some much better movies in the last couple years decade like everything <laughs> sorry <laughs> anyway not giving up on movies um but anyway it's it's a little later than i'd like i get to sleep in tomorrow though i'll see you in a couple days guys we're gonna go do magic kingdom I'm really, really happy. Do some new stuff over there. So thanks for joining me from Jackson and I. We will see you in a couple days. Bye, guys.